side of heart disease. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you some time to answer these questions. Go over these, then I'm going to give you a break. So before you take your break, you have to earn your break by doing what? Answering these questions, okay? And then when we come back from break, we're going, to, we're going to review how to answer them together. Okay? Let's go over here, start the first one. Remember your definition of probability. It's the number of outcomes associated with the event divided by the total number of possible outcomes. It's a fraction. Okay, so let's see. When you select a card from a standard deck, right, how many possible outcomes are associated with standard deck? How many? Not what are they, but how many outcomes? What's the total number of possible outcomes? Meaning, what's NS? If you're good. Anybody have any questions on that part, 52? Anybody have questions on this? Sure. Alrighty. Is that so easy? You got half of the answers so far for half the questions. Isn't that easy? You sure? Okay, now take a look at the event, the event that you elect a club. So in the sample space, how many outcomes are associated with that club? Where are they? Where are the clubs? Is this bottom row here? Is that clubs? How many cards are here? 13? How did you deduce that? Okay, say 52 divided by 4. Is that, is that 13? Or I can count them. 2 through 10, how many cards are that? 2 through 10. 9 plus another 10, 11, 12, 13. So, right, it's 13 cards that are clubs out of 52. What's 13 over 52? It's 1 fourth. As a reduction, what's this as a decimal? Point what? Okay, anybody any questions with that? You sure? The next one. What do you count for the next one? How many hearts are in a standard deck? Another 13? Where are they? The first row, is that true? So that's 13 over 52, which comes 1 over 4, better known as 0.25 as small. What's one? What's the next one? How many aces are in a deck? Where are they? Aces. What's four, 4 over 52? 1 over 13. Now, what's the 13th decimal to the nearest thousandth? What? Is it? Point zero seven seven. Okay. Now look at question four. What does question four say? What does it say? Ace of hearts. Ace of hearts. Where is this heart? What do you guys know about this? It has to be A and what? It has to be a heart. Do you guys see a card that's both an ace and heart at the time? Is there such a card? Where is it? Isn't it that one? How many other cards are there that are ace of hearts? That's it. Is that true? Okay, good. So, what's the answer? 1 over 52? Was that reduced to as a decimal to the new thousandths? 0 point? 0, 1. And again, this is approximate, because approximate is the nearest thousandths. Is it easy still? No? Is this easy? You guys are confident. Is it too too hot? How many non aces are there? I mean to be an ace. Everything but the but the aces. You're not an ace. That's the other but these aces. So four aces out of fifty two cards. How many aces are there? Good. Forty eight. Forty eight over fifty two. What is that approximately? Well, I mean, as a fraction, doesn't that reduce to 12, 13? 
What is this approximately as a decimal? What? Run to the nearest thousand. What's 12 over 13? Is it approximately 1,000? 0.9? Okay. Card less than a 4. What's less than 4? The 2s and the 3. With me at? The 2s and the 3s. So how many are there? 2, 4, 6. If 2, what does that reduce to? Is that 4 over 26? 2 over what? 13. What is that approximately? Point. Okay. Is that still easy? Is that still easy? Okay, what about this clubs and four? How many cards are both clubs and are less than four? Mm. They have to be club and less than what? Four. Where is that? You guys want to tell me where the tap is? it right here? These are the cards that we're looking for. Which ones are also clubs? Darts? No. The diamond? No. The space? No. Are they? See what I'm saying? This stuff isn't rocket science. Would you guys rather solve equations using augmented matrix, matrix method that you did in Math 125? Oh, so you'd rather solve a log or exponential equation. Is that right? Which would you rather look for? Wouldn't you rather look for the two cards that are what? Less than four and clubs? Oh, you guys should be laughing at this point. You'd be laughing at the fact they're not making those equations anymore. They're just saying, can you look at this list and find cards that are and less than four? How about this? Can you see how many are less than four? How many? Two. So, two over two over what? One over 26. What is this approximated to the nearest thousand? What? Point two three eight. Okay. Red cards. Red cards. How many red cards are there? Twenty six. Good. How many cards are there? Okay. What's twenty six over fifty two as a fraction? And what is this as a So that means half of your cards are what? Red. Is that true? So how many people so far are 8 for 8? Let's raise our hands. I'm proud. Okay. If you're not 8 for 8, do you know where you made your mistake? Who's 8 for 8? It's a story of my life. You know how lonely I really feel sometimes? I just feel sometimes talking to myself and, and you kind of respond. You're like, everybody's looking at you like, uh, you know. I, you know in a way, I am, but I'm still not. It's kind of a thing. I still have hope. Yes. No. Good question. The answer is no. How do you think I'm going to give you the question? I'm glad we're talking about this. Very good question. <laughs> okay. It's sort of the deal. When you start doing some problems, you're doing some home questions, and it's can you there is sort of an assumption that's being made. The assumption that's being made is this, that you have bothered to look around and notice a few things about this. You understand what I'm saying? Um, if you had not an excuse to say, well, you know, I've had people say at some points, you give them a card question. Like, well, I don't. You shouldn't be asking a question. Say, well, I don't get it either, really. But you have to look at a deck of cards, know what a die looks like. Um, there's a lot you could use excuse for anything 